What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Potentially the last break of the night. Should be. It is almost going to be uh, 12 o'clock in about 40 minutes, so this should take us about a little over an hour. This is Jaspi 17 Box Alley Oop Basketball Mixer, Random Teams. Uh, and again, with Mosaic Box Giveaway. So again, 17 boxes. Everybody gets a random team in the NBA. At the end of this break, we'll take the customer names and randomize them separately in a dice roller and ra uh, list randomizer. Top name will get a free ship sealed box of Pan Panini Mosaic Mega Box, which is worth over $200. All right, some high end boxing in this mixture choice Prism, Obsidian, Mosaic, Gold Standard, Optic, and much more. And again, no veteran common ship. Only vets will ship would be Kobe, LeBron, LeBron Giannis, and Lucas. And again, one box of Fast Break Prism, all the way down to. 14, 15 dollars hobby. So there you go. Good luck. Dice roll it. Four and a six ten times. And again, Matthew down to Derek. Bought spots straight up. And the rest were all from uh, Prism Cello Packs from, I think, 90, 91, 92, and 93. So we sold about like 20 spots like that. So good luck. Ten times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten times. James, down to Jed. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wizards down to the T Wolves. James, you got the Wizards and Pacers. Ryan, you got the Spurs. Asa with the Dallas Mavericks. Scott with, Scott with the uh, Celtics. Kevin, you have the Raptors. Quinn with the 76ers. Derek, the last ball mojo thunder. James with the trailblazers. Joseph E.W. with the heat. Quinn with the uh, warriors. Jacob. K with the uh, Lakers. Aaron with the Bulls. Matthew of the Suns. Joseph with the Clippers. Aaron with the Hawks. Matthew of the Knicks. Sal with the Cavs. Gerald with the Rockets. Seth, you have the Bucks. Zach Sorensen with the Kings. Zach Paul with the Utah Jazz. Diane from Prism Cello 90 gets the Pelicans. Andrew with the Nets, Quinn with the Hornets, Taylor with the Magic, uh, Brian S. with the Nuggets, James, you have the Memphis Grizzlies, Matthew with the Pistons, and Jed with the Minnesota T-Wolves. So I'll give you guys time if you guys want to make any trades, if anybody's watching that's in this break. Um, and what I'll do is I'll turn on Nick Cam. That way we could uh, start ripping some of these boxes. And I'll start with more of the heavier base stuff. We'll start with 1415, Alrighty guys, let's close the trade window then. Per Ryan's request, no one wants to trade with him, so he says screw it. TWC. And let's print and rip. Alright, so I was already ripping up in some Donruss.
Alrighty, good luck everybody. Relic here, Paul Millsap for the Hawks. Actually, before I go further, is everybody the final printout? Wow, it's a rookie Andrew Wiggins to 125. T Wolves. Jed with that one. There you go. That would have would have been really big back in the day. Not that he's not good anymore, but he needs to find his way with his new team now. And Ryan Kelly to 249 for the Lakers. Lakers, uh, Jacob. Channing Fry, Iguodala, Mitch McGray. Whatever, Rez, how are you feeling today, buddy? Drew Holiday, Scorn Kings, Mark Aguirre, Carl Malone. Kendrick Perkins. It's cold over there? Raider rookie PJ Hairston. Pierce. I didn't realize he played for the Wizards. Ben McElmore. <laughs> Got some snow the other day in May. <laughs> Love New England. Nice man. So, is Clam Chowder the best out there? Would you say? I've I've tried clam chowder from Disneyland. It's it's like really good, but I think they imported from like San Francisco. Dennis Rodman and I've tried clam chowder in San Francisco at, at uh, I forget what it's called, P or something. And it was really really good. Victor Oladipo. OJ Mayo. Marcus Aldridge, press proof. Tobias Harris. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. I love Disneyland's Count Chowder. It's like my favorite one. Nothing compares to it. Anytime I ever try it, it's like they got it from a can. It's all salty and everything. I feel like at least with like, the Disneyland one, it's like pretty good. Although it may shock me, maybe it's a nicer can, but <laughs> I feel like they make theirs there. With their bread bowls. Oof. And I miss Disneyland. Sourdough bread bowls with some clown chowder. That's, that's it right there. Never too much bread, Arthur. I'm that type of guy that will literally eat the whole bread. <laughs> I don't I don't just eat the round of bread and I just leave the bowl. I'm literally eating the whole bread. I love me some bread, tortillas, anything. <laughs> anything like that. Anything like masa and all that. 
Oh man. Give me a tamal or more masa than meat. All right, next box. Hoops, eighteen nineteen. Is that what it's called, Sean? I know, man. You just gotta like, you gotta really start ripping the pieces of the bread bowl and just start like, really just start digging in on the bread so you can have the eighty to twenty consistency, like back to close to like sixty forty. I'm just saying I like anything that's going to like turn myself into grasa, you know. <laughs> As you can see, big boy. I mean, I just love bread in general. Sourdough bread, the bread from Olive Garden, the breadsticks, the, the molasses bread from Cheesecake Factory, anything bread. Bambolillo, yeah, whatever. David Velez, got my mail, David Jaspies. No problem, man. No problem. Glad it got to you safely. Oh, yeah, dude. I've, I've never broken a... Only bone I've ever broken... I've broken two bones in my body. I mean, I it's, it's embarrassing, but I broke my thumb. So it's, like, weird. And I broke a couple of my toes. My like ankle got twisted in one of those like I was running through uh, middle school and you know how like in some of the the courts there's like little holes to put um, you know the the volleyball nets down. Well, I was like in middle school, my foot wasn't as big as it is now, the size 12 I am. My foot got caught in it and it like twisted and it like broke a bunch of my toes. Almost broke my ankle, but ended up being like three four toes. So other than that. Worth it. I mean, I've almost broken a rib before. Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, it's understandable. It's like my brother-in-law. He, <laughs> he always talks about it, but he uh, said when he was younger, he grew up in like a rough neighborhood, but. You know, getting his fights and stuff, but he's literally missing like his knuckle, like his knuckle. They just like punching somebody, it, like shattered, and it's like that was it. There's like no knuckles right here. Dwight Howard. I don't know, but Rice. I, I haven't explored all of Philly. You know, I've done the Genos and Pats and stuff, which is alright. You know, but. A customer a couple years back when we first started, there was a customer of ours that lived in Philadelphia. And he, Eric Dampierre, Hoops Inc. He, uh, ooh, that's nice. He sent us some steaks from Jim's. Jim's, uh, Jim's, uh, and honestly, oh, did I really? And honestly, those ones were so good. He sent them in dry ice. We just had to put them in the oven and just follow the instructions. But, man, I'd say those are one of the better ones that I tried. But then again, not sure. I didn't. I don't think I missed a trade, did I? That was a Kevin Hootier. Aha! I did. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, Jim's was pretty good. And yeah, those, yeah, I know. I'm just, yeah, it's really tourist traps, honestly. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just, uh, I'm convinced that they're owned by the same, they're owned by the same owners. And they're, it's just a scam to compete against each other to just make money. But it is pretty cool at night, like, going to, like, Geno's, um, with the lights and everything all around. But yeah, like I said, I tried Jim's. I know it may not be the same from trying it like in person, but I'm not gonna lie, it was a pretty damn good steak. Good for the cheesesteak. Super fries, Arthur. Dangerous. Super fries. I had some last night. That was the only thing open. 
I was trying to get some fast food last night, guys. I got home like at 2.30, and I just didn't eat anything all day. I didn't eat no lunch, no dinner. Just ate breakfast early in the morning. And <laughs> we pulled up to Jack in the Box because I was just going to get some tacos and some fries. I don't really like their burgers, but I like their dollar tacos, their dollar twenty nine tacos. We get to the front of the line, and the lady goes, sorry, we're not serving anybody at this time. I'm like, what the hell? How are you not serving anybody right now at this time? Is a Luca too? What's wrong with me? Yeah. Two good conversations. There you go. But yeah. So then I had to go to the the old reliable called Albertos to serve any Mexican food you'd ever want. Their menu is like over a hundred menu items. So I ate some of that last night. <laughs> Do I know what happened? <laughs> And Carl Malone, Aaron Holiday. I've never tried that, David, but I wanted to get some Geno's East the other day from online. There's this website that allows you to. Ooh, nice. Jaron Jackson Jr. hot rookie signature is nice. Grizzlies. Going to James. And I see that you can do that. You can like dry ice, send you Geno's, Geno's East, Giordano's. Yeah, I get some super fries last night though. It's very dangerous. It's like probably the most calories ever, but it's delicious. French fries, garnish salad or whatever meat you want to choose. Cheese, guacamole, sour cream, beans, just all on top of it. It's crazy. We got next. Trey. Is that what they have over there in the OC? Delbertos? I mean, they're all kind of the same. They're just different names. I've been to an Albertos, Alberts, Albertas. I mean, they're all like kind of the same foods, but obviously just different names. Damn, Russell, I haven't even eaten dinner yet, and you're making me hungry eating Hot Pockets. I haven't eaten Hot Pockets in like at least over a year. I know my wife has been craving like raising cane, so we'll probably stop and get her that today. If we get out in time. When I went to the national a couple years, for the couple times I went, I preferred Gino's East than, than Giordano's, to be honest. There's one right next to the Stevenson Center, too, for the national. I also, but the first year I went to Chicago, too, for the national, I ended up having a day where I, my sister and my nephew went one time and they joined us for the national for the week but I was able to like get out of work early sorting and shipping when I was just a sorter at the time so I was able to spend the rest of the day in Chicago and my sister gave went on, we went on a pizza tour which is so her because she loves to just do like touristy things but I'm not gonna lie it was a pretty fun experience you know they picked you up like on, like on a bus you went to the first like original pizza place something like that it was called like Paisano's or something in downtown and you went to like five different pizza places all around Chicago, from the west side to the east side to this side to that side. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty cool. It was, it was pretty amazing. It, it was pretty cool. I had never done that before. You know, I've never been to Chicago, but I really liked it. My wife likes that one, Sean. I didn't get to try that one, actually. But she said that that one was the best. But 
the two times or three times we've been to Chicago, she's been in Chicago just as many, but we went for like work related or like when she was at, at LMU. So like we didn't ever get to go to Chicago together, but just we've been there a couple times just not with each other. But yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty awesome. It's like, you know, Pete's Place with his own brewery in there. Went to a pizza place where they made like a freaking s'mores pizza. I have photos of this stuff too, so. It's pretty crazy. Well, I heard someone say that the rumor was that it was gonna like happen in December, which I don't know about the national in December, man. That's crazy. I get it. You don't want to lose out on a year with the national and get it too close to next year's, but. How would Atlantic City look like in December? Would anybody really go? Like the holiday season, right? Zach Collins. Ooh. Abdel Nader, signature series autographs. Campus here, Kobe Bryant. Swishful thinking. Oh, I know. Let's do it, right? I'm actually going to be in, in Arizona next month, Arthur. My, my in-laws have locked in on the house, and I think they get the keys on June 5th. Right where I told you and Joe P that we're going to be at in uh, Santan Valley or... Uh, Things in Santan, around there. Some newer, newer houses that are there. So, like I said, I'll be visiting Arizona at least like once a month from now on. And I'm hoping, hoping that there is football. Doug McDermott, nice black velocity. That way I can go see the Eagles play the Cardinals this year. They're playing them in December in Arizona. So, I'd love to go see them. So, I'll be flying into Phoenix probably. I'll need a ride, Arthur. You want to pick me up from the airport? <laughs> I kind of wish that they were like, they were moving to kind of where you were at because it's much closer to me if I want to drive. Because they're like way on the other side. Jared Allen, Raider rookie. But it is what it is. Zach Collins, silver. Yeah, I know. So I told Joe Pizzo that one one of those times when I have a free weekend to go over there, we'll, we'll hit up each other and we'll we'll play some bowling and stuff. We'll do some bowling. Damn, that'd be crazy, Sean. Did you draft Trevor Lawrence go 0-16? <laughs> All right, next one. But yeah, the Eagles come over here twice, so play the 49ers in October, first week of October. And then um, play the Cardinals. So that'd be fun, man. I know you are, but that, wouldn't that be crazy, though? To own 16? From, like, a year making the playoffs and then going to own 16? <laughs> I know. We're rooting for your Chargers, Sean. I honestly will be. Now that you have Herbert there, and I hope he gets to start. I don't know if he will, but whenever he does. And I'm sad to say, but I'm be rooting for the Raiders, too, because I want Mariota to start. So I'm, I'm going to be rooting for Derek Carr to just, just blow it. <laughs> I'm going to be rooting for him to blow it so that way Mariota comes in. KD, Wiggins, and Isaiah Whitehead. Mark Calvin. How did it really, Sean? That's good, man. 
Well, you got ticket test, Sean. Steven Zimmerman. Ooh, nice little patches in there. Two out of ten. Orlando Magic Tool of the Trade. Scotty Pimpin. That new stadium, though, is going to be amazing. Honestly. It's going to be the best stadium in, in the NFL. It'll be probably the most expensive stadium, though. Demetrius Jackson. Well, you still got Tyrod, right? Which I think that's the plan is to go with him. Have Stick or Herbert back him up. I mean, you drop Herbert that high, you want him to be the future, right? For sure. But that doesn't mean that the future starts now. You gotta think that that's what the plan is. So I, I honestly don't think Tyrod Taylor is bad at all. I think I think he can definitely get the job done as a great veteran quarterback. You know. And Diamond Stone to ninety nine Clippers. I've been at Jared's well. That's pretty cool. But honestly, when this stadium opens up, David, it's going to blow it out of the water. And Jerry's going to get really jealous. I'll tell you that. This stadium's going to be hosting Super Bowls, national championships, everything. Every single year. Or every other year, however long they can. All right, come right out. Ooh. Nice, Sean. Can't wait to go to a game with you. <laughs> Maurice Harkless. Luke Kanar. TJ Leaf autograph to one ninety nine. John Collins to two forty nine. Alright guys, some 1819 Obsidian, which I don't think I've ever seen Obsidian basketball. Ooh, nice. LeBron James. 5 out of 15. Low number as well. Very nice. Nice LeBron James. Lakers, that's Jacob. Jerome Robinson. Two forty nine. D'Angelo Russell. And we got John Starks autograph. Five out of fifteen. Oh, did you really Sean? That's awesome, man. Honestly, it was pretty cool seeing the Chargers play there and stuff. I, I, you know, I went to one game. I went to the Eagles game back in 2017. Um, you know, the year they won the, the, the Super Bowl, and it was pretty cool, man. I, I, anywhere you sit there was, like, the best view ever, you know. All right, 2012-13 gold standard. So, chasing some big rookies in here, the double rookie class. And again, the Kobe pack will go to the Lakers.
again. It was like a once in a lifetime experience because you're never going to see a professional football game in a 30,000 seat soccer venue, right? Oh, this is heavy. Uh, we got Ty Lawson for the Nuggets. <laughs> this is heavy. All right, three forty nine. Tim Duncan. Three forty nine. Earl Monroe. Grand Hill Pistons. Three forty nine. Joe Johnson, Brooklyn Nets. How about this? Jimmer for that. You guys remember Jimmer for that? That was a baller. And three pointers. Sacramento Kings. And he actually still sells well. I remember someone talking, I think me and Nick were talking about it like last year, how he still sells pretty well. Isn't he playing somewhere in overseas right now? Uh, Sacramento going to Zach. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, he's playing like overseas in China, right? Jeremy Tyler rookies gold standard twenty twelve thirteen. We'll have to look this one up. I'll look it up right now. Gerald Henderson. Marks of gold to ninety nine. Derek Favors, nice on card gold strike to seventy five. Utah Jazz, going to Zach Paul. David Lee, white gold, relic. And Nick Young, followed by DeAndre Jordan. Right, I'll actually look that up at the end of the break. We'll continue on. Paramount, 14-15, Panini. Alright, after this, guys, it's pretty much all optic, choice, prism, and mosaic. I saved all that good stuff to the end. Nine boxes to go, including this one, so it's a little more than halfway there. Alfred Payton, rookie, and Joel Embiid, rookie. How about that? Nice. Seventy sixers with that one with Quinn. We got Blake Griffin. Dante Axum. James Harden. And we got a hundred and fifty points. Which we'll give out to a customer at the end of the break as well. Got a nice patch here of Noah Von Ley. Three out of 25. Charlotte Hornets. Quinn with that one. Mitch McGray, Ford for the Thunder. To 101, Thunder. Derek Lost by Mojo. And a 49 artist, Gilmore for the Spurs. Ryan with that one. There you go. Try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. We'll save the choice. Let's go with some blasters now. We'll go with blasters and then we'll go with some hangers. We'll go to Megas. To fast break. And we'll end off with that choice box.
All right, good luck, everybody. Alexander Walker. Gary Harris, Tyler Hero. PJ Washington Jr. Hollow for the uh, Charlotte Hornets going to Quinton. Lakers Shaq. LeBron James. Lou Williams. All right, let's go with some hangers. Mosaic and Prism. Zion base Dylan Windler green for Cleveland Fievel Jackson Hayes wow we got all rookie colors how about that Carson Edwards and we got Scotty Pimpin will be going forward to the Chicago Bulls team he played for the longest little Luka will to win and a Kobe White. Nice. Nice hanger. Got a Kobe to end it off, too. Paul Millsap. Orange cracked ice. Hakeem Olajuwon. Quinn Cook. Bull Bull. Rookie cracked ice. Denver Nuggets. Marquise Morris. Dumboya. And Niza. Jerry Culver. Image short print. For the Minnesota T Wolves. And a Kobe right there to end it off as well. That's nice. That was a nice box. So that T Wolves going to Jed. All right, let's go to Mega Boxes. 
Optic, and Mosaic. And then we'll end off with Fast Break Prism and Optic with the Optic Choice. Here's the last one. All right, right at the finish line, guys. Alrighty, good luck, guys. Dice. Spud web. And we got an autograph. Kevin Hooter. Scripts. For the Atlanta Hawks going to Aaron. Terry on Prince. We got a Tyus Jones. PJ Washington Jr. Rui. And a John Moran. How about that? That's very nice. For the Memphis Grizzlies, uh, going to James. What a color. John Morant. Silver Oscar Robinson, LeBron James MVPs. Derek Favors. Mason Plumley. Ooh, what is this? This is nice. Will to win, LeBron James. Nice Lakers. Going to Jacob. Zach Collins. RJ Barrett. Zach Levine, Taco, RJ Barrett Bass, Magic Johnson, there you go, very nice, well, we got an autograph out of this mega. Alrighty guys, Mega Box Optic.
Wow, Jalen Brunson hollow. What a tease. Maverick's going to Asa. Jaron Jackson Jr., Kobe, Dara Sarek. Justin Jackson. Aaron Holiday, Reggie Jackson. All right, guys, three more boxes. Fast break. All right, good luck, everybody. John De Murray. It's on white side of 50. D'Angelo Russell. PJ Washington Jr. John Collins. And a Raider rookie, Tremont Waters, to 95. Boston Celtics, going to Scott. Wow, look at that. We got a Disco, Zion Williamson. And very nice. Disco for the Pelicans, going to Diane. There you go, very nice. Took a while to get a nice little Zion, but we did. Very, very nice. And wow, Kobe White Red Disco, 31 out of 85. For the Bulls. Aaron, there you go. Nice box. PG. And Jared Culver is the autograph, disco autograph, for the Minnesota T Wolves. Going to Jeff. Can I read disco? There you go. Very nice. Very, very nice.
All right, let's see if we can hit some nice stuff in prison fast break now. Second to last box, guys. Alrighty guys, good luck. Chuck, Clay, Russell Westbrook. And a Rui Hachimura. Nice. Image variation. Disco. Nicely centered as well. Wizards going to James. Very, very nice. Yeah, this has been a great mixer. Starks. Keldon Johnson, rookie disco. Kawhi Leonard, disco. Little Kobe base. Dirk. And the autograph is JJ Berea. Dallas Mavericks. Going to Asa. Kevin Love to 175. Shaq Disco Cam Reddish Alfred Payton seventy five for the Knicks Bird Nice. DeAndre Hunter to 50. Atlanta Hawks. Disco. Going to Aaron. Mo Bamba. James Harden. And let's end it off with Wilson Chandler to 175. Mike Stop Scott. There you go. Very nice. All right, guys. Last box. 18-19. Choice. Good luck. Last chance is some Lucas and Trey's. Mike Conley. Javon Carter. Oh, man. Costas. Come on. Why couldn't you be in Luca? 
Grizzlies, Javon Carter. Let's see behind Cole Stuss what we got. Musa, autograph. Two teases this, in this break for the Dallas Mavericks. And you got Amari Spellman to 88. And Tim Hardaway Jr. to 88. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So, again, we're giving away 150 points. That'll go to second place. Number one's going to get the Mosaic Mega Box. And let's look at quickly this guy really quick, Jeremy Tyler. Let's see who this goes to. I'll have to go to Panini. America.net. Checklist. Uh, this is basketball. 2012. Panini. This was gold standard. And this was rookies. Car number two sixty one. And two sixty one is gonna go to the Golden State Warriors, just to show you guys. So there you go, a little extra right there for Quinn and the Warriors. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was the break. Some pretty solid stuff. We did get some nice Zions in here. Some Ruiz, some Kobe Whites, some LeBron James, some John Morantz. A lot of good stuff here. A lot of stuff to penny sleeve, honestly. All this would be penny sleeved and top loader right there. Huge stacks. Now let's give away that mosaic box. So again, uh, dice roller here. List of customer names to Matthew. All the way down to customers that want spots in Prism Cellos. Again, number one is going to get the Prism Mosaic Mega Box. And number two will get the 150 points. So good luck. Roll it. Six and a four, ten times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and six and a four ten times. Boom ten times. Coming in at number two to get 150 points is Gerald and number one Sal. Congratulations from Prism Cello 91. You just won that mega box of mosaic. Which I don't know if I called your name, but you had the Cleveland Cavaliers. And there you go, guys. Appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.